Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome to a playthrough of Space Quest Chapter 1, The Saurian Encounter. Now, this is a classic adventure game uh, by Sierra. came out in 1986, and it was one of my favourite adventure games to play uh, as I was growing up, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It's a bit of a... Um, a bit of a step back into the past. I know, I know the graphics are pretty dated now, but it's still an enjoyable game and a pretty cool adventure game to play. Light years from Earth's solar system, the people of the galaxy Eonon have been struggling to maintain the precious balance of life. The sun of Eonon is slowly dying. The planets grow cold, food is no longer plentiful, life will soon become impossible to sustain. The scientific community of Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Eonon's lifeless planets into a new sun. The effort was centered around the development of a device called the Star Generator. The Star Generator would be capable of igniting an otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. An expedition set out aboard the Starship Arcada to successfully complete development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcada is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with the fully operational Star Generator. You serve as a member of the crew of the Arcada as a janitor. That's right, a janitor, and not a very good one. You would probably have been sacked and replaced were the Arcada not millions of kilometers from Xenon. As we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous on-shift naps in one of the janitorial storage closets. Welcome aboard Arcada. To log on as a crew member, please enter your name below. Um, okay, Roger, let's get this show on the road. Um, hopefully I remember how to play this game. It has been a long while. We have a score of 0 of 202. Uh, let's have a look around. You are startled by the sound of an alarm. It is followed by an urgent voice which warns that the Arcada has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. Um... Okay, I wanted to turn the sound down. It is quite loud on my computer, but that's okay. Um, let's have a look around and see what we can see. You'll have to be more specific. Uh, look. Look. Look inside the room. This is one of the many hallways in the Arcada. Uh, look, lights. There is a red flashing alarm light here, which seems to be indicating that you had better get moving. Um, now, this is the closet that uh, Roger was sleeping in. Uh, you have just stumbled into a small, dark, and very cluttered utility closet. Many things fall, most of them landing on you. Doesn't say much for your cleaning prowess. Um, look. Look, closet. You can't see anything in here because it is dark. Ah, okay. Um, can I see? Can I have a look now? Uh, look, closet. It looks dark in there. Well, I may need to get a light. I don't think we need anything from the closet as far as I can remember, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, there are Saurians running around on the ship. Looks like there's a dead guy over to the right. There's a little elevator here as well, so I'm just going to... I guess we'll go and see if we can check out this, uh, this dead dude, and uh, he might have something on his body that we need. Um, as soon as we hear fo footsteps, I'm going to have to make a run for it. because we do need to stay safe from these sirens. There's more dead dudes here as well. You think you hear footsteps. All right, let's head up to the, the top uh, passageway here and we'll um, do a search of this guy here first of all. Uh, look, body. It appears to be one of your crewmates. He is non-functional. A non-functional crewmate. No kidding. Uh, search body. You search the body of your crewmate and find a key card. Beautiful. Look, key card. You do not possess the... Oh, okay. Take key card. You take the key card. And we have our first point on the scoreboard. Beautiful. One point of 202. Uh, look, key card. Um, okay, look, key card. The key card is a flat rectangular piece of synthetic material which is magnetically keyed for passing check stations written in tiny letters. Other words, beak and hinder security systems. Whew, okay, we've got this key card. Now let's see if we can um, see what else is here. There's a couple of other dead dudes down the bottom. I guess that we should check out that. It looks like one of the doors has been completely broken um, through here. So let's have a look. Um, I guess I'll just uh, quickly search body. You search the body reveals nothing. 
um, and we'll check this guy out as well. F3. Your search of the body reveals nothing. Okay, so these guys don't have anything on them. Uh, let's head to the north. Um, more dead dudes. They look like this could be the the star generator, where the star generator was kept. Um, let's just search this body quickly. The reward, the reward for your search is nothing. Okay, look, room. This is the Star Generator Development Laboratory. Due to your incredibly low security clearance, you have never been allowed access to this room. I thought the cleaners were allowed absolutely everywhere, but obviously Roger Wilco was not trusted to be able to get into this room. Um, is this the Star Generator? Uh, let's have a look. Look, Star Generator. There is no Star Generator here to look at. Look, machine. Um, okay, uh, look, device. You do not possess the de designated item. Okay, I don't know what that thing is in the middle. Um, let's search this guy's body and uh, see if he has anything. Uh, he has nothing either. So we'll check out this console. I don't know if there's anything we can do here. I don't think so, but we'll have a look. Your mind is boggled in attempting to understand the function of the various buttons, switches, lights, and displays. It appears the board is not operating. Let's have a look at the stars. Gazing out at the stars reminds you of how far you are from home. Uh, was there any clue here? Uh, this is the Star Generator Development Laboratory. Okay. So the Star Generator is... Maybe, maybe it was here, maybe it was stolen. That seems to be the case. Um, don't know if there's anything we can grab from here. Have a look at this console over here. Okay, no, there's nothing we can do over there either. So I'm just going to head out and um, head back up and uh, continue exploring the Xenon space station. Hopefully we don't get caught by any any Sarians along the way. Oh, 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 footsteps, footsteps. Okay, we're going to head up. Um, hopefully those footsteps are not going to be close by. We can search this body. Um, search the body. Turns up nothing. Okay, let's head out to the right. And there is the room up there at the top on the left. And I think that is the archives room. So we'll, we'll try and get back up. Oop, oh, dead end. Uh, we'll try and get back up there. Uh, I wish Roger Wilco could uh, run a little bit faster, but he's going as fast as his little legs can, can carry him. Luckily, that, uh, the beeping has stopped. The alarm is not uh, going off anymore, but the red lights are still flashing. I um, haven't actually f seen any Sarians yet, uh, which is a good sign. Um, I do need to remember to save the game fairly frequently, um, because it is it's quite a, a dangerous game to play. And Let me actually just save this game right now. Jeff won. Oh gosh, okay. We'll do it there, and uh, here we go. Jeff one. There we go, fantastic. Um, okay, let's head off to the right here into the archives room and uh, see what we can find. If I can uh, get through this door. This is all locked. Oh, there we go. Okay, we just need to be in the right spot. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, look at this room. This is the Arcada's data archive. Many volumes of information are stored on data cartridges. There is a computer console here. So it looks like we have a table, we have a computer console, uh, we have the archives stored at the back here. Uh, let's have a look at the archives. Look at the wall. You see shelves full of data cartridges which can only be removed by the retrieval unit. Okay, so obviously I can't take them by hand. Uh, let's have a look at this unit. It is the Model DX cartridge retrieval unit. It is used to retrieve cartridges. It is currently empty. Um, let's have a look at the, the screen here. Okay, welcome to the Arcada Data Archives. Model DX storage and retrieval system. To select a cartridge, enter the title below. Press enter to quit. Title cartridge available with top security clearance only. Um, how about a star generator? Searching. Title not available. Okay, so it looks like uh, we need to know the name of the title before we can get out of here. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. Uh, press enter to quit. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Sorry about the, the funny screens in between um, in between loading screens here, but uh, yeah, I think it's something to do with my uh, my screen capture software with um, 
with that DOS box is being a little bit funny there, but hopefully the rest of the game will be good. Let's have a look at the uh, Lasarian. L look, alien. There is no one else here. Okay. They're down below. Obviously, I can't see them from here. Um, now, as far as I remember, there is supposed to be some professor that we, we can find uh, somewhere on the ship. I thought he was in the, the archives uh, unit, actually. Maybe we should see if we can trigger that to, to load up. Um, I'm just going to head back over to the left. I'll head back through the, the archives, and uh, hopefully the old guy uh, will be there and uh, give us a message, and we can continue on with this game. Otherwise, I'll head down the elevator to the bottom and uh, see if there's anything else we can do down there as well. I've still only got one point. I've got my first point. I uh, need another 201 points to win this game. Um, where is this old guy? There is uh, something which triggers the event uh, where the old guy runs in here and he does um, give us a little bit of information that we need to be able to retrieve the right cartridge. I'm not sure how to, to get that event triggering at the moment. Um, hmm. I might just head down to the, the bottom elevator and just, just continue on going down there and hopefully not get killed by uh, by any Sarians along the way. Okay, looks like we've pretty much explored the top area here. These guys have nothing on them either. I'm just going to keep on keep on walking. So luckily Roger Wilco was actually sleeping uh, at the time of this attack, so he, he missed out on uh, on uh, all of the action, but he survived. Um, I hear footsteps. Just going to hang out in here for a little while. Now if I remember this part down here is pretty tricky. There are a, a lot of Sarians down here, and uh, they're always... they're always walking through here. Did I search this guy? search body. I haven't searched this guy yet. We haven't uh, walked over here to have a look. Um, so I'm just going to type that in and by the time I get here it should be ready. There we go. Your search of the laser riddled corpse reveals nothing. Okay, these guys don't carry much, do they? Ugh, okay, let's have a look. Um, look. Look, Rune. You are in the central control area of the Arcada. The reactor domes pulsate irregularly, as if they had been tampered with. This does not look good. Through the window just above the control console, you can see down into the vehicle bay below. Okay, look, domes. The domes cover access tubes to the Arcada's power plant. They are bolted closed since they seldom require maintenance. Okay, there's some dude over here I've just noticed on the floor. Um, let's check out the hangar as well. Uh, look, at the bay. Okay, we'll get a bit closer. We'll have a look at the bay. Uh, search, search body. You search the damaged body of your fellow crewman. You get too close a glimpse of the injury in the pot. In the uh, you you get too close a glimpse of the injury in the pockets. You find nothing. How did I guess he would have absolutely nothing on him? Okay, so we've got the hangar bay below. Uh, let's have a look at these consoles as well. Let's have a look at the bay. You are li your limited view shows that there is a large vehicle bay below. And we have a console here as well. On the console by the window are two buttons marked open bay door and close bay door. Hmm. Push open bay door. There we go. We've opened the bay door. We've got an extra two points there. Fantastic. Look, bay. Okay, it's not going to give us any more information there, so I'll keep heading across to the right, um, see what else we have. We do have a key card, so we possibly can get down there. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a cartridge, though, so I'm not going to head out of here until I do get that cartridge. Uh, let's search this body. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, look, door. That does not appear to be in view. Okay, we're going to have a look at the elevator. Um, the elevator goes to another level. You have never used it due to its restricted access status. Okay, so Roger Wilco doesn't really get to explore much of this ship, uh, being a janitor, but we can have a look around now at uh, pretty much everything. Let's have a look at this wall. The walls are all nondescript, except for a keycard unit near the elevator. It controls access to the level below. Okay, use keycard. Oops. Uh, use keycard. You slide the keycard into a slide. You hear an audible click. You take the keycard back. 
Okay, so the elevator should be unlocked now. We've got an extra couple of points as well. Uh, let's just quickly have a look down here. Okay, so this is going to take us into the vehicle bay. Now, I'm not going to open these um, uh, these side lockers and get uh, dressed in my space suit because I do need the um, the archive. I need one of the archives um, regarding the star generator. Um, so hopefully I've done what I need to do to trigger that event, or maybe it's just random actually. I'm not sure if it's a random event or if there's something I need to do to trigger that event. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head back up and hopefully uh, find that old guy uh, somewhere around that ship. And he's, he's going to give us some information. Hopefully the name of the, 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 uh, the data cartridge that we need. Um, if I can get out of here before I get blown to pieces by those Sarians, let's quickly head up to the elevator. Um, yeah, these games are pretty funny. They do help with your, your typing speed, I've noticed. So, um, I think you hear footsteps. Uh, can I quickly... Oh, no, no. Back in the elevator, please. Oh, that was close. Whew. Okay, we just escaped. Oh, okay, he's gone. Oh, thank God. Oh, that door's open now. The door at the top is half open. Do you notice that? I think the guy might be in there. If we can get up there now... Um, looks like the door is open, the the professor might be in there, uh, if we can quickly sneak in there, uh, we should be able to, to have a chat with him. Okay, let's go over to the right. It can be a little bit frustrating sometimes trying to find the exact phrase that you need, um, but it's generally, generally pretty good. There he is, there's the dying professor. Look body. You can't do that from here. Okay, poor poor professor. A large laser hole has been burned in his uniform through which you can see previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he raises up on one elbow. Talk. He tells you the Arcada is under attack and that the star generator is in danger. You had better leave if you value your life. He looks over toward the shelves full of cartridges and utters the words Astral Body. He then settles to the floor, lifeless. Search, man. You're searching the damaged body's pockets. Net nets. Only some heat-fused chunks of varying sizes which were probably melted by a pulse ray blast. Nothing to waste time on. Okay, so he did say Astral Body, didn't he? So let's have a look at the console. Let's have a look at the screen. And we're going to type in here, Astral Body. Title found, retrieving. Fantastic. We are retrieving the, the data cartridge. And uh, that should be all we need, I think, to get off the Xenon space station. We can uh, make our escape, hopefully, uh, avoid the rest of the Sarians, and get out of here in one piece. Now, I haven't died yet, which is pretty cool. I'm still alive. <laughs> there are many ways to die in Space Quest. Um, take... Cart take cartridge. Done. Okay, beautiful. Look. Cartridge. This is a data storage cartridge. On it are the words Astral Body Formation. The Untold Story. Um, I think there is a cartridge slot here. Shall I read this now? Uh, use cartridge. Um, put cartridge in slot. Oh no! Oh, I got shot. Okay, maybe there's not time for that. The alien observes his handiwork briefly, then leaves. As you lie on the floor in a smouldering, carbo-gelatinous heap, you can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. Why did I bother? Okay, we are back. Let's actually save the game before we do anything else. Beautiful. Um, talk to man. Okay, let's just have a look at this man. Okay, here we go. He's going to tell us about the astral body. Uh... Okay, um, he's got nothing on him either. So we're just going to have a look at this. Oops. Look at this unit. Uh, Model X cartridge is used, which is currently empty. Okay, uh, look console cartridge slot okay so we can put the cartridge in there uh, if we have a look at the screen 
uh, we're going to type in astral body should retrieve that uh, give us the cartridge and hopefully we can have a look at that maybe get some information but uh, I I think maybe there's not going to be no point uh, having a look at the the cartridge unit I think we just need to grab it and uh, make a run for it I'm pretty sure that's what we need to do okay here we go let's go take cartridge done um, I just want to try this out. Put cartridge in slot. Okay, yeah, we can't do that. Fine, fine. Okay, we can't have a look at the cartridge. Um, so we're just going to get out of here and, uh, yeah, go to the hangar bay and get in one of those vehicles and make a run for it. Um, oh, there's a few guys down below. Actually, we need to run the other side. I think the elevator down is uh, just to the left-hand side here. Uh, so we'll make a quick, a quick exit out of the Xenon station. Looks like uh, everybody has been killed anyway, except for the, the aliens have pretty much taken over this base now, this uh, this station. So I'm just going to head down the elevator. We are uh, on 12 points. So another 190 points to go if we can. Uh if we can max out our points, I don't know. I'll try, I'll try to do everything we need to do. Uh, let's head the other direction as well, past the Star Generator research, research Room. Um, I guess I could speed up a little bit. Is there a speed up uh, button? Uh, speed, hmm, I'll just leave it normal for now. Actually, we could go a little bit faster. Um, let's go a little bit faster so we can just get... Oh, what, what have I done? Oh, there we go. I completely forgot about the elevator. Let's head down uh, into the, the hangar bay here. And there we go. Hopefully, there's going to be no footsteps, please. And I can just have a safe run. Okay, we've opened the the vehicle bay door there as well uh, so we need to make sure we have the right equipment um, oh god no 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 use oh drats okay beautiful we made it this time um, I'm just gonna head down here I'm just actually going to change the speed to normal let's have a look in this room and uh, see what we can see this is the flight prep room of the Arcada as you can see there is a sign on the back wall as well as two closet doors and two buttons. Let's have a read of this sign at the back. The sign on the wall warns that the bay doors are currently open. Okay, there's um, some closets. We've got a console over here as well. Um, okay, let's have a look in the closet. There is a closed closet door here. There appear to be some buttons on the wall. Look. Uh, let's have a look at the button. There are two buttons here, a left button and a right button. Okay, let's push the left button first. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look in the closet. It looks like an electrical gadget of some sort. Um, okay, we're going to take this gadget. Let's take the gadget um, and we can have a look at it. Written on the electronic gadget, other words, dialect translator. On one end is a dial and a light, currently dim. Okay, so we have a translator and there's a dial there as well. So let's push the uh, right button here. Uh, looks like we have a spacesuit. You see a flight suit hanging in the closet. Okay, let's take this suit. Um, there we go. We've changed into our flight suit, so we should be good to go, I think. We're just going to check out this console, make sure everything is, uh, is ready here as well. Looks like there are a few buttons here. Let's have a look at uh, the console. The console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. Okay, is this a different console over here? Let me just quickly check this one. The console is adorned with many status indicators. Okay, the same, right. Okay, so let's go push airlock. There we go, okay, we are free to go. Uh, we are free to leave. Um, so let's head on out of here. Just going to head down, we're going to head up and uh, head into the 
uh, the vehicle bay area we have got 16 points of 202 I'm just going to save my game here I do need to remember in these games to regularly save the game uh, it is so easy to die if you if you've played the any of the space quest games um, any of the early Sierra games actually uh, it was pretty much like that very very easy to, to die in these games let's have a look at the bay are you sure you want to look at that okay let's just have a look at the the room here this is the cavernous vehicle bay look console looking at the console you see a button marked platform there are also some ga gauges which don't interest you okay push button here we go here is our little spaceship our little escape pod looks like the door is open as well this is one of the Arcadus escape pods. You vaguely remember receiving some orientation on these when you joined the crew. Okay, so we're going to get into the, the, the escape pod and hopefully get off of this station. Okay, let's get in pod. There we go. Okay, we are in the pod. Let's have a look. Um, from the inside, you are sitting in the pilot seat of the escape pod facing toward the window. There is a dark console before you and seatbelt straps at your side. Confused as to what you should do, you wish you would have paid more attention during crew orientation. Okay, let's put on wear uh, seatbelt. We'll do that first. Look, uh, console. The console consists of a screen pod status indicators, a throttle, and some buttons. The buttons are marked auto, nav, power, and don't touch. Okay, shall I press the don't touch button? We, we have to push that button. If there's a button that says don't touch, you just, you have to push it. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? A screen, status indicators, throttle, and some buttons. Okay. Um, let's have a look at these. Okay. Let's have a look at push, uh, push, power button okay we're powered on beautiful um, let's save this game as well um, let's have a look at the uh, screen here and uh, see what we've got let's see what we have on the screen here escape pod systems activated ready for instructions emergency program initiated pull throttle to execute launch sequence um, uh, should we pull the throttle or push push don't touch button that has no effect now. Okay, it's probably going to make us explode or something. We're going to pull the throttle and uh, hope for the best here. Your door is ajar. Okay, close door. Um, auto nav power and don't touch. Okay, um, okay, pull throttle. That should get us out of here at least. Uh, the bay doors are open, so we should be good to go. We're not going to crash into anything at least. The escape pod moves slowly out of the vehicle bay. Beautiful, and we are leaving the Xenon station. Congratulations, you have narrowly escaped an explosive death. Don't start patting yourself on the back just yet, though you are now traveling aimlessly through the cosmos. Okay, beautiful. We've made it out of Xenon. Fantastic. Uh, we have uh, 32 points. Fantastic. We're at 32 points now. Let's have a look at the console. Um, see what we have here. We have the auto nav button. Should we press the don't touch button? Just for fun. Just for kicks. Press don't touch button. Is it going to make us explode? Oh, okay. King's Quest. What the? Ken, did you hear something? It was probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. <laughs> oh my goodness. There was str through a strange quirk of fate, or was it? You have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now, since you are playing Space Quest. Okay, we've uh, stumbled into another dimension, and uh, we've apparently died. Uh, okay, let's restore. Um, so, don't press the don't press button. I suppose that's a lesson for everyone there. Um, press auto nav. Um, let's have a look at the screen. I guess we need to push the, the thrust, pull the thrust button again, do we? Escape bot systems activated, all systems are go. Um, we've hit the auto nav button. Uh, can we pull the thrust again? Uh, let's have a look at the console and see what we've got. Um, Okay, we need to pull the throttle. 
Oh, we've got some new information. Okay. Oh, here we go. Planet profile. So the autonav has worked. It's, it's brought up a planet here, the planet of Corona. Um, it has a breathable atmosphere, unknown life. Uh, it's very hot. Temperature 40 degrees Celsius. The navigation system has been locked in. The autonav system has locked onto the small planet of Corona. And the pod has begun its approach. Nothing to do now but hang on.